Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Web Lemon, and today we're going to be playing The Journey of Remus, Chapter 4. So, this is the last in the, I would say, the Ballad of uh, the Death Worms. I guess would be the overarching story here. Um, so, just as some context, because a lot of things are going to be different in this game, but this actually came two years after the last game, and is much, much more polished to my knowledge. But again, like we've seen with the last game, it might not be as perfect um, as it used to be, as we're running off of a Flash emulator. But anyways, let us get right into it. Overshadowed by the exploits of his famous brother, Remus the Exterminator and his trusty sidekick Liam embarked on a journey to create a legacy of their own. After succeeding, successfully destroying the Queen of the Ants, Remus receives a personal invitation to visit the the royal castle by the king of Ferdinandus himself. Assuming he can only mean fame, riches, and royal marriage to the princess, Remus and Liam, Liam happily journey to meet their destiny. Unfortunately, after arriving at the castle gates, they find the kingdom abandoned and infested with horrific death slugs. To make matters worse, Years of exile in the swamps of the north, the long-forgotten race of Gygax have also returned. Feeling these two events may be linked, our heroes brave its certain doom and journey deep into the lair of the devouring worm to consort with the all-knowing parasite. From the eye of the parasite, Liam sees their fate unfold. The alien race of the Death Slugs has enslaved the Gygax into an army of destruction. Um, this monstrous uh, over machine currently marches towards the people, laying waste to all things in their path. For Remus and Liam, this means only one thing opportunity. Finally, after years of tailing in obscurity, a quest has fallen into the laps that has once and for all cemented extermination as a heroic career path. If they can officially lay claim to this quest before any other hero, the reputation of Rebus may finally soar higher than his brothers. Now only one thing stands between them and fame. The ballads, the beastly black hole of Arthur. Okay, Liam, that castle's uh, Decarius. We have to get in and get this quest to prove before the ship full of death slugs and Gygax land on the shore. Time is of the essence. Once they see a hero of your statue, Remus, we should be official questing heroes in no time. Sure. Um, we need to register an epic quest. Uh, one so huge that... Let me guess, the fate of the known world hangs in the balance. Yeah, I know honey, you're the sixth one today. Fill out, fill out this paperwork and get in line. The quest approval board will meet you in six months to review your application. Six months? Listen, lady, we need to embark on this quest today. Sorry, honey, we just let everyone wander off on epic adventures. Whenever they wanted, we'd never get anything accomplished. Everyone would be off collecting keys and combining inventory, while the day-to-day -day chores of the town, life, went to hell in a handbasket. Hmm. Is there no faster way this approval system... Approval gets through the system? Huh. Hmm. Well, I guess. Fine. There is one way. 
you can fill out the paperwork yourself and submit it online. Online? Yes, it's a brand new do-it-yourself type thing. All you need to do is fill out the paperwork with three heroic references and a dangerous sample from your quest. Submit it online and it will be pro uh, proceeded, processed <laughs> instantly. Uh, we don't have any local references. We're from finances. Hmm, well there's a lot of hero postings on the board. Maybe you can find something there. Good luck. Ugh. Hmm, tonics. I like saying that. So, fun fact, these quests can be done in any order. Ah, are you in need of assistance? Yes, that dirty grocer is killing my business. His body lies out of control and scaring away all my customers. Ew, I was hoping for something a little more on the heroic side. Hey, you'd be a hero to my business. Listen, you help me out and I'll give you a free tonic for life. I have a really great hair growth formula. Why would I need that? Um, of course you don't. I thought maybe for your uh, friend there. Shit, I skipped that. Hmm. Pass a buffs. H plus R. Cool. Uh, P plus G. S plus C. Hmm. Um, of all the favorite milk scans, I have to get the one next to this guy. If we have any chance of getting rid of those lice, we need to get us jacked off. Hmm. Passive potions, HSP. So, H S. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. Here we go. Damn. Hmm, I think we're never going to sell it anyways. With active ingredients C G R. C G R passive. Oh, okay, it explains. The first column's passive, second is. Oh, okay. What if we mix H plus C? Um. Give me a sec. I'm gonna try and mix everything. And I will come back when I do. Hey, so we're back. Um, I thought I hit recording, but I didn't. My bad. I got all the potions made, and he actually has hair. Wow, I look 12 years old again. Um... Ah, uh, there is a hair... Um, hair growth, shirt cleaner, shirt growth. Hmm, I love that clean shirt smell. Um, hair cleaner? Magically clean hair. Too bad the lice are just as cozy as ever. Um, shirt cleaner? Wait, we already tried that. Um, hair growth, shirt growth, plant cleaner. It's a pretty clean plant. Hmm. Ooh. 
rip. Oh, what if we use sugar cleaner? Huh. Interesting. Plant removal. Looks like it was all sort of produce. Um. Oh, right. That's because he needs a hair for that. Huh. Interesting. Shut growth. Plant removal, hair removal, head lice, hair cleaner, plant growth. Wait, if we can get his shit off, then we'll be able to see what we're dealing with. Oh, okay. Do we have a S and oh did I miss one? Oh I did. That makes more sense. Wait, what? The stuff only works on head lice, not body lice. Oh, um, Hair removal. Ah. Hair cleaner. Um. Where's that short growth? Ah, here we go. Ah, that hair is ridiculous. No one will take my tonic seriously. Next to that idiot. Oh, are you kidding me? I kind of like the hair. Can't believe it. I'm saved. You need a reference? Feel free to use me anytime. Hey, there we go. That, I will help. I would probably say that's one of my favorite. Hmm, well, it's the first time I mixed a bunch of drinks and didn't end up passing out under a table. Mm, your heroic focus is unwavering, Remus. Hey buddy, do you think we could cut in line? Sorry, I'm on a noble and holy quest. Yeah, and what's that? To eradicate the evil flash monster from the land of apples before it infects everyone with a buggy power draining gaze. At least that's what uh, Steve told me. Cool. Um, hornets, seeking Goliath beetle, attacked by a strange creature reported on the beach. Avoid contact. All right, this place is our best to bet to capture some danger. I'm sure if we attach the actual deck slug to a quest applicant, we'll be approved instantly. Liam, you head off and investigate. I'll stay here and set a trap. Hmm, could be useful. That metal wing is firmly embedded in sand. It's locked. Hmm. I'll stay here and get the trap ready. Have you seen my sheep? It's my lunch break, but I can't leave until I find my sheep. No, but I'll find her, bring her back. It won't work, she only follows my shepherd's crook. Ugh, I'm starving. Oh, the death slug! Hmm, the key is amongst the carnage. I can't get it without the death slug seeing me, though. I can't bear to think about what it will do to me. That poor squirrel. Oh! Your chain seems to be stuck to that weird tree. Let me get that for you. Be free. Didn't you hear me? I said be free. 
Huh. Weird, the hardened tree sap seems to attract metal. Um, sh stole away on the delivery boat. Guess looks from garbage and getting that delivery man didn't get away. Um, right. Hmm, I forgot about that guy. Okay, thanks to this polluted water, I will see we did as strong as well. If we tie this here, hmm, if you've not set a trap. Hmm, trap is ready, now we just wait for the play. The key for the chest? I wonder if we're gonna be sacrificing the... Oh, this a little rock right here. Okay. I first slap all over my hand now. Already somewhere on your hand. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Good work, Liam. We just need a way to lure it into a trap. the key. See, this game has a lot more polish to it. A treasure chest full of ocean shepherd's pie must have been on a long trip. This one on top is completely thought out. Ah, here we go. Here's something to take the edge off while you wait for your sheep. Mmm, shepherd's pie. Well, I really shouldn't, but maybe just a bite. Still this. Follow me, go. Okay, sheep, hang out here for a while. Yikes! Alright, that should be the tra trap set in lane. Hey! That fucker's still alive! Hmm, that trap was a little more aggressive than I thought. Look, the slug reverted back to its original form. It's perfect muscle size, dangerous sample, let's get it. Seizing the opportunity, Remus bottles up the tiny slug as a sample of the danger ahead. With that major requirement now fulfilled, they were closer than ever to finally claiming the epic quest. We have the danger sample, yet there's one image I can't shake. The devastating carnage left behind by that slug? No, all those wasted shepherd's pies. Fair. Hmm, hornets, lath beetle. Let's do this. There's no time to go to circus. Oh. Got a lath beetle? How big could it really be? I kind of want to go to the circus. Holy fuck, I forgot it's this big. That is one big beetle. Yes, Liam, but the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Or the harder they are to move. Damn. Hmm, nice and sturdy. I love these things. They get better and better as the series goes on. Better watch out, those are beach bombs. Highly flammable and explosive. Might be something on it, but wait. Oh, use this. Hmm. 
Okay, you big boo, be gone. Or else what? Or else I'll move you. I'd like to see you try. I will beat you with my mighty fists. Ha 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 ha. You puny human. Are you you are no match for the strength of Goliath. <laughs> Just warming up. Try this one on for size. <laughs> Funny little man, you'll never move Goliath. Hmm, too big to pick up on it. Can only manage to slip it over. Hmm, help. I have a lot of important popsicles that are going to melt if this giant bug doesn't get out of the way. No feel good, Murchin. I will move this Ganchian and save your icy tweets. Hmm, there's a path leading up to the top of the forest. Those things are up from way up there. We can throw the pill bug. It would be fun to throw something from the waterfall, but this little guy isn't protected, and I wouldn't want him getting hurt. Hey, do you think you could talk your big bug fellow to move for us? Hmm, guess they aren't in speaking terms. Well, I guess he's fully protected in the shell. What's the harm? Bon voyage! Hmm. You need to do something else. Budget by hand. Hmm. That's as far as I'm gonna get that to move. This catapult is ready to fire, now I just need a way- oh, the bug! Hey, see? Plants come together when we get there. We just gotta get there. Oh yeah, bon voyage. Alright, I'm done warming up. Get ready for the full fury of Remus. Oh, Marie Remus, I'm sorry. No puny human has ever moved Goliath. I bow to your strength. And don't forget it. My popsicles are saved. Remus is a hero to all, including frozen sugar, water, and a stick. How about a quick signature reference of my hero heroism? Absolutely, but how do I get across the bridge is destroyed? Hmm. You must have some extra popsicle sticks with you, right? Just lay them down, they will should make an extra X make it should make a great makeshift bridge. Hmm, but could you give us that reference first? We're kind of in a hurry. I mean, could you not use Goliath? Hmm, you see Liam, I told you freakish strength ran in my family. Hmm, unlucky spontaneous problem solving won't run so in mine. <sighs> I still want to go to the circus. Swatting a few little hornets, I'm in. Yes, but I have a royal banquet to put together. I can't get near my flowers without being stung. Well, madame, you took call the right man. There isn't a stranger big enough to stop me. Hmm, it's true. This one time a giant bumblebee stung him in the face, Luma still managed to destroy the hive and win the town hot dog eating contest. Liam exaggerates. I actually came in second place. That's good because these hornets are nasty. Any idea where the nest is? Hmm, this note might hold a clue. I managed to steal it from him while he was gorging himself on pollen. Pure giblish, this won't help at all. 
Wait, this is haunted cone. If we can solve it, perhaps it will lead to the nest. Hmm. Ah, yes, of course. I mean, this won't help them at all. Yes, they're as good as dead. Oh boy. Okay, Liam, let's figure it out. Can we just go home? Go to the ship. Please help do something about the hornets. Hmm, angry hornet won't let me near the flowers. Okay, Liam, I'm gonna lasso him with the garden hose. And Venus was still paying for that dental bill last time we tried that. Oh, yeah, right. Let's try something else. Alright, alright. Fucking chill. Hmm, could come in handy. Hmm, they look like little doors, but there's no way of opening them. Not yet. Hmm, locks are loose. Maybe we can come back and play with them later. Better not get too close as a fire of this all its pollen produces deadly gas when wet. Hmm, imagine how many presents could fit under this. I don't like the way that owl is looking at us. Hmm. Alright, use the shield to get the thistle. Fuck you. Better be careful with that fire thistle. Moisture causes it to produce poisonous gas. Okay. So, fours O plus pen. Fours open. First over. Hole. Oh, fours open. Um, first over hole in 3H trunk 3 4 hmm we'll figure it out as we go wait um it's shut too tight it can't pry it open hmm Looks like the doors, but there's no way of opening them. I think we have to solve each area first. Hmm. Actually, I'm curious. sec to think this one out. I don't quite remember this puzzle. Um, so I'll be back when I complete it. Well, actually not complete it, but you know, figure it out. Hey, so I just thought of something. What if this doesn't mean over but round? As in this? So four is open first round hole. Okay. So this? I finally figured out the hornet code. Pry open first. Um, uh, round hole in tree trunk. Ah, there you go. Great work, Liam. This door is slightly ajar. I should be able to pry it open. Hmm. A hook shot. Maybe there's another code message in here. Pine, down, down pine, bull minus b, owl, 
F equals E. So scarf, scar, scale, owl, down, tree. Oh, but down pine. Okay. Yes, that's it. The message says scale, owl, off, pine. My pleasure. Hmm, that must be the entrance to the hornet's nest. Alright, how do we... We just need a way to destroy it. Um, we'll storm the nest. You hold them down. I'll punch them. Um, we nest. The interior of that pine is swimming with hornets. We... Uh, need to use one of our heads to, on this one. No way. I don't want any sting marks on my head. Let's think of something else. Ah. <sighs> This should do it. Hmm. Thank you for the indoor swimming pool. Alright, the tree is completely flooded. Now look, we just need a way to kill the hornets inside. Honestly, what was this about? Alright, here we go. Fuck you guys. That should smoke them out. Ha! Huh, that'll teach them, alright, Liam? Ha! Ah, our work here is done. Wow, I'm impressed. I didn't... I really didn't think you were gonna pull it off. I mean, we're just that good. What can you say? Would you mind putting that in red in? Maybe leave out the part about thinking we couldn't pull it off. Hey, But again, what was our box about? It could be a goose chase kind of thing. Why not remove our job complete and not a sting mark on us? My brain must be getting smarter. Or hornets are getting dumber. Oh. Huh, looks like you paperwork is in order, just submitting it online. Online submissions. We have all the paperwork, Liam. Get walking across that and hand deliver this before we're swimming with the slugs. Forget it, I'll fall. I don't have any training in tight walking. Hmm, there's a sign that says, do the heavy usage. We have extended our line. Uh, with the quarter for the month. Please check back soon so if the inconvenience. Great. Once again, technology has failed us, Liam. We're gonna have to get creative. How's your balance? Why? <laughs> You're gonna walk across that to hand deliver this thing. No way. I don't know how to walk tight well. Well, we'll see if we can fix that. <gasps> the circus! <gasps> Hmm, here you go, Liam. A few trips from a pro, and you'll be walking on that line in no time. Hell yeah! Okay, Liam. Let's get going with those acrobatic lessons. Hmm, alright. We have chalk for the next time we miss, and I want to play some sidewalk hopscotch. Cancel, just our luck. Hmm, get away from my tickled trunk, that's private property. And that's super fucking tr creepy. I love a good drink as much as the next guy, but that stuff uh, could be, could rocket a fuel or rocket. I don't think my liver could ever recover. Ah, you're here for lessons, they're cancelled. Ah, uh, class is missing. What? Where is he? I said he had a meeting with a talent scout and never returned. I fear he was abducted by the potato man. Potato man? Yes, entertainment craving monsters that live the underground. Ah, they are constantly looking for new acts and add to the roster. They post talent scouts on the surface to lure entertainers into their trap and kidnap them. Forcing them into a life they never, of never-ending performances. Ah, oh class. Hey miss, you know what we have to do? 
Yes, I'll start work on a giant deep fryer and you find a pillar. We're gonna flinch five these creatures right out of existence. Or we could just break into the lair and get the yak back. You're right, time is of the essence. We'll have to do it the easy way. Ah, talent scout. This berry bush has been almost picked clean. Psst, hey, do you know of anyone with talent? What have we here? Hi, we're looking for to speak with uh break into showbiz. Well what are your talents? Well, I'm great at killing bugs and Liam is an accomplished musician. Sorry, we don't need any of that talent. If you see any clowns though, send them over. Actually I forgot to mention, yes, we are clowns. Ruthie, you don't look like clowns. Where your red where's your face paint, your red noses and crazy hair? Oh, you wanted us in character? Okay, we'll be right back. Hmm, we missed. Where are we gonna get a clown makeup? I'm sure you'll think of something. Ah, <sighs> let's make the perfect clown nose. Hmm, shape is like with colors all wrong. The closest the noses need to be red. Oh, the bug zapper. Hmm, what a buzz. Chocolate, we could use these on a porch and watch the insects get zapped. Hmm, the good but tasteless for the birds. Hmm, disgusting digesting fungus. I better keep my fingers clear, those waste of teeth will devour anything. Cool. Hmm. He's overcompensating by building a really long nest of hair blown. How pathetic. Really numbness. Hmm. What if we take one of these? Hmm. Oh, I got infused fruit. Pity whoever bites into this. Hey. Birdie, you want a drink? Ha! Ha! Great look for you, man. How humiliating. Ha! Ah, nice hair, Liam. You look like a clown. Ha! <laughs> oh, wait, that's perfect. Hmm. This must have a chalky aftertaste. Mine's considered perfect shade of red. Are mine's considered clowns? I actually wonder that. And not only mine's, but are there different types of clowns? I'm actually not too sure. If anyone knows, I would love to hear from you. Hmm, you look kind of like clowns, but you both need crazy hair. Hmm. 
Hmm, how to spend four years in clown college to wear this costume? You think I'm gonna just let you hand over my clown uniform to whiff laugh like you? Yes? No, now get lost. I'm busy drinking my souls away. Get it stay up. Hmm. I'm gonna look around for stuff and when I come back I will figure that out. So I will see you in a minute. Hey, so I was wondering, seeing as this chalk responds, can we use it on this? Name was here. Hey, can my chalk put on? Them? Hey, it's full of hair gel. This must be the secret to this great looking hair. Maybe I'll try a little. Oh, and now we go back to the plant. I'm glad that actually worked. I look like an idiot. Yes, you do. It's perfect. And... Wow, what an elaborate entertainment system. Hey Liam, do you think we could wake something like this up at home? Shh, we're trying to watch our stories. So, an exterminal walks into a bar. Looks like they control the TVs with that remote. Wonder if we can intercept a signal somehow. Hmm, fashionable potato sack to better start my size. Hmm, <laughs> could come in handy. That should help the signal. Wonder if we can get any food that works somehow. Potatoes. What's the difference between an exterminator and a stink bug? Mm, you gotta get me out of here. I've been doing acrobatics for 72 hours straight. My legs are about to give out. Potatoes have no taste. My power ballads are among the sweetest ever written. And yet they almost fall asleep every time I play. That might be because you have no ears. Hurry up. And figure out a way. I only know two jokes. I mean, this is the best I got. Huh. Do I just keep fucking with this, I guess? Oh, it forces it to be that way. Hmm, I wonder if I can use this on all of them? Oh, what if we... Oh, that might work. That might work indeed. Go to sleep. Alright, let's get out of here. Thank you so much. How could I ever repay you? That acrobat lesson would be great. 
in an intensive whirlwind of acrobatic training, Cla Cla Claus turned Liam from an eddy steady little bear to a tightrope walking under wonder kind. Armed with fancy new footwork, Liam was now ready for the challenge that lie ahead. I learned a lot on that adventure. Yes, I'll never look at mashed potatoes the same way. We have references, our danger sample, and a way across the line. I think we're ready to submit the thing. And let's head over. Here goes nothing. With newfound skill, Liam massively walked the line and hand delivered the precious paperwork directly to the desk clerk. Stamping the papers with a royal seal, the clerk turned to Liam and said, Approved in 48 hours? What? A troop full of death slugs will be here in less than 30 minutes. Don't worry, we must will defeat them. Ah, sure, but what good that will do if we don't officially get credit for it? Ah, no, Liam. We have to slow that ship down and make sure nothing gets here before that quest is approved. Hmm, gotta be a way to stop that ship, Liam. Maybe we should revisit some of that quest locations. Maybe you'll find something of use. Hmm, Ken Bobs. Such a tiny plant, they, they pack a mean punch. Hmm, hey. Didn't we destroy his nest? I wonder what he's back looking for. Maybe we can find out. He left another a message. Dig M equals L. Lose rock first minus E. One oh one on small island. Okay. Dig or lose the small rock on the island. Oh, that's what the rocks are for. Dig loose. There we go. Under stat underground status signals. Ha! Maybe we can come back and play with them later. Old bridge. Hmm. Need your help. Anything you want, minus famous, just don't hurt Clyde anymore. Mighty Beetle, meet uh me by the cliffs and I will crush you. Oh, thank you. I will meet you there. Cool. I like Goliath. Ah, friend, business is booming thanks to you. I'm almost over the tonics. I have a couple left. Feel free to take them. I don't need a mix anymore. Glad he's doing well. Hmm. Now that there's some mainly locks of hair. Okay, you hairy beetle, do some damage. Something approaches. Hmm. Only a mass of seaweed. No need to panic. Panic. Eat that, you dirty slugs. Well, we bought ourselves some time, but they'll be back. Except next time will be official duties on Heroes on Duty. Indeed. Now, how about we celebrate by getting hammered at the pub while we wait for guest approval? Ha, huh, spoken like a true hero. Might and magic. Oh, there's three endings on this one. Might and mind. Mind and magic. Okay. Okay, let me jump to... I actually think I know... I'll jump to getting everything and then I'll come back. So, see you then. 
All right, so I got everything now. If we use the plant growth on this, it's in full bloom. Ha, get it? Boom. Like, bloom? Ha <laughs> ha, oh boy. Ah, let's just get on with it. Hmm, it has fire power of a real cannon. Now we just need some ammo. All right, now we're ready to do some damage. Found the hole. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Hmm, eat that, you dirty slugs. Well, we bought ourselves some time, but they'll be back. Except... Alright, that was ending... Mind and magic? We need mi might and mind. Huh. Alright. So I'll come back when I got everything. So I'll see you then. Okay, so we're back, and I think I actually figured it out. I think we use this thing as in here. Hey, Guy Gax, this is Remus the Exterminator. You better think twice before you step foot on this land. Oh yeah, Remus, and what are you gonna do to us? Here's a tiny taste of what I'm cooking over here. You did it, Remus. The ship is in total confusion right now. They're running all over the place. Huh. Yes, and now we need to strike. Okay, Goliath, do your worst. Hell yeah! Hmm. Eat that, you dirty slugs. Well, we bought ourselves some time. But they're gonna be back. Alright, there we go. That was the last one. So, I would say this is probably my favorite out of all of them. Mostly just because, um, um, uh, what am I saying? I guess just because of how polished it is and how much gameplay it actually shakes up from everything else. It's a very clean experience. You don't really get confused by any of the puzzles. As the very, um, I, I don't want to say easy, but the very, like, you can figure them out pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I thought it was, this is one of the best ones. And it doesn't have the problem, any problems that I've noticed. And, as you can see here, this will be the last game in the series but it's not actually a flash game this game is actually made long after to my knowledge this game and I can play it in my normal way so I'm gonna do that soon enough but until then Thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.